Of course, summer is coming to an end for public school students and teachers. With the alarming number of COVID cases now, the way they're spiking, some are asking, is it even safe to be returning back to in-person learning? For now, health officials say yes. Christy Tomashiro with details in a story that's new at 9. The Department of Health reports of Friday's 622 COVID cases, 25% of those were among children. Officials say while there are some risks in returning to in-person learning, bringing students back to school is important. There is risk involved in everything, but I think we also have to be cognizant that there is a cost to not having children in school and having them fall further behind in learning and the continued social isolation. The Department of Education says school is still scheduled to reopen on Tuesday. But the case count was alarming for Celia Yahiku, mother of two young children, heading back to campus next week. My heart stopped when I heard the number today, especially now that we know kids are more affected by this strain. But I've been really been looking forward to them starting school again. Health officials are reassuring parents that in-person learning will be safe. Among the steps schools are taking, all students and staff will be required to wear masks indoors. Proper ventilation will be key in classrooms, and proper hand washing will be a must. But one of the most important safety steps is this. If you're sick, stay home. Even if you're just think it's allergies or a little bit of the sniffles, stay home. Dr. Char did note that despite all of the safety measures put in place, bringing back 180,000 students to campus will come with an uptick in expected cases. There will be some people that have COVID that are going to show up. And so we, still, we will see some rises, but we're trying to also structure it so that it will minimize the amount of spread in any setting. Schools are also encouraged to consider screen testing those who are not fully vaccinated, especially for extracurricular activities like sports and band. We have school-based health centers in all of the local schools uh, where we're offering back-to-school vaccinations and, of course, testing, because a lot of people, especially those under 12, have been unable to get vaccinated so far, so we're vigorously testing the school kids. While the numbers are concerning, some parents are still looking forward to getting their cakey back in the classroom. I am happy with the spacing and the masks and the open doors and the precautions they've been taking. I'm many things for my kids, but being a teacher is not one of them. So <laughs> I give huge props to all the teachers because I am not good at their job. So I will leave it to the professionals. <laughs> DOE tells me they'll continue to monitor the situation and are in contact with health officials to ensure the safety of students and staff. Christy Tomashiro, K2 News, working for Hawaii.